So let's go ahead and do a D-pin repin on L72A8. This is a very common one, again, like a lot, a lot of the ones we've been doing lately. You're gonna see this a lot, and it has two variations of it. One that only has one uh, catch. Ours, you can see, catch here, catch here. So catch it on both sides. It works in place of both. That's why we only carry this one. The other one, there's just no reason. This one will slide on, locks in place, that's it. So there's no reason to have the uh, single catch option. It's gonna have, you can see right here, this secondary lock, it's in green on both sides. If you're looking at one that's on a car or one that came from us, it should be in the locked position already. So you're gonna have to move each one and they do move independently and reverse. So they're gonna do this basically. One side moves one way, the other side moves the other way. So you gotta push down the little lock and then move it forward. It's pretty easy. You just actually slide down in there. Let me kind of look at what I'm doing here. Screwdriver down in there and then just kind of go one direction. You'll know. So like, watch, let me try this. Let me try to go towards myself. It won't go. Let me try it the other way and it goes right away. So you'll know immediately if you're going the correct direction. There is a tiny little catch on the inside there on the green part that you could actually look at and see, okay, yeah, it looks like it's positioned to go the opposite direction of what you're thinking. But the bigger thing is just kind of lightly press it down, move one direction if it pops, you know, and unlocks, then you're good to go. Um, once you have done that, you have, let me see if I can show you here, it's kind of hard. You can kind of see the silver down in there. That is the terminals. These terminals, like a couple we've done, have the spring catch. It's actually built into the connector. So in the connector, there is no plastic catch. Let me show you here. You have a row of four and a row of four. So we got four catches here, flip it. We got four catches here. Go in from the top on one of them. I'm just gonna push down on that spring catch. It's gonna be hard to show you here. Once you have one in person, you'll be able to see it a lot better. Kind of push that catch down and it'll pop out. So again, you're gonna kind of push down that catch, pop out. Every once in a while they'll stick a little bit. This little spring catch that's on here sometimes pops back up and gets a little caught, but you don't want to pull it too hard. Um, it just depends. And sometimes you can kind of chase it. So I'm going to push it down, pull back. I'm going to keep the screwdriver down and kind of move forward as I'm going. And that just ensures it's staying down, but you really don't have to. So on this one, I'll just kind of push it down, get it loose, and I'll remove the screwdriver. Make sure I'm getting it down. That one actually felt a little funny there. There we go just like that and you'll get the feel for it after a little while some of the some of them because if the actual spring catches got a little tension because it's being pushed backwards from the seal you may feel a little bit more pressure when you're pushing down so let's see on this one so like that one I could feel that I was pushing down and they're all locked in position just fine uh, it's just that sometimes like I said they have more tension you could push them forward which that actually removes any tension on there then press down so like there I don't feel anything on that spring catch but it is loose it's just kind of that's kind of what I was talking about there where it does that extra little where it pops up and kind of catches itself as it's going because these are tight tolerances in these things these are OEM connectors so that one I didn't take any tension off of it I can feel the catch went down and it pops right out so watch I'll push it forward again so that takes any tension off that spring push it down I can't really feel that I'm pushing it down and it comes out. So either way, you can push it down and kind of ride it with the screwdriver as you're pulling it out or just push, get it to come back a little bit and then remove. If you just push down, let off and don't pull, then of course the, the catch just pops back up. But that's just uh, removing the wires there. If you're if this was on a car, these would all be different colors. On any of these connectors I do, you would always want to try to remove and swap one by one so you know the exact location or mark them, take a picture, take detailed pictures, know which way is up and down. This connector like this kind of has a hump on one side, other side's flat. Always pay attention to that. It'll have you know your numbers somewhere on there typically. This one has them on the front. Sometimes usually they're on the back. Um, but uh, you know you could take a note of the wire color to what uh, what location. If you have multiple 
wires that are the same color, then I would definitely do them one by one. Otherwise, you're going to be kind of having some fun if, if they have different functions, which does happen. Uh, to install them again, that spring catch has to be oriented in the same way. So again, you're going to have a row where they're facing up, flip the connector, another row where they're facing up. So it's not all facing one direction. So we're just going to slide in, listen for a click. Let me move it. I'll move it closer to the mic here, see if y'all can hear it. Do another one. Hopefully y'all can hear this. And that is just telling you that you have, uh, you know, obviously it's secured. You're not, not every connector you'll hear that just depends. Um, these being metal that are kind of popping up in place, they have a little bit, you know, louder tone. There is um, like L64A2 that we have. Uh, it uses a different, different pin, but same style, I guess I should say. There is a little ridge. It's really hard to see on camera, and it's on the left side. For L64A2, it's reversed on the right side. It will only go in one way, of course, like most. If it is turned a little bit, it can kind of catch itself, so it's always good to try to make sure that you're straight. Um, if it's just a little bit crooked, it wants to fight you. So typically, it's pretty easy to get them right the first time. We'll put these all back in. Once they're in, push our locks back to position, opposite directions, and that's it. That's locked. That's D-pin repin on L72A8.